Free Science Lessons Stem Cells Embryonic stem cells can turn into any type of cell. Differentiation is the process by which a cell changes to become specialized for its job. Undifferentiated cells, called stem cells, can divide to produce lots more undifferentiated cells. They can differentiate into different types of cell. Stem cells are found in early human embryos and have the potential to turn into any kind of cell at all. This makes sense if you think about it. All the different types of cells found in a human being have to come from those few cells in the early embryo. Adults also have stem cells, but they're only found in certain places, like bone marrow. Unlike embryonic stem cells, they can't turn into any cell type at all, only certain ones, such as blood cells. Stem cells from embryos and bone marrow can be grown in a lab to produce clones and made to differentiate into specialized cells to use in medicinal research. Stem cells may be able to cure many diseases. Medicine already uses adult stem cells to cure disease. For example, stem cells transferred from the bone marrow of a healthy person can replace faulty blood cells in the patient who receives them. In a type of cloning, an embryo could be made to have the same genetic information as the patient. This means that the stem cells produced from it would also contain the same genes and so wouldn't be rejected by the patient's body if used to replace faulty cells. However, there are dangers involved in using stem cells in medicine. For example, stem cells grown in the lab may become contaminated with a virus which could be passed on to the patient and make them even sicker. Some people are against stem cell research. Some people are against stem cell research because they feel that human embryos shouldn't be used for experiments, since each one is a potential human life. Others think that curing existing patients who are suffering is more important than the rights of embryos. One fairly convincing argument in favor of this point of view is that embryos used in the research are usually unwanted ones from fertility clinics which, if they weren't used for research, would probably just be destroyed. But of course, campaigners for the rights of embryos usually want this ban too. These campaigners feel that scientists should concentrate more on finding and developing other sources of stem cells so people could be helped without having to use embryos. However, in some countries, stem cell research is banned, but in the UK, it is allowed as long as it follows strict guidelines. Stem cells can produce identical plants. In plants, stem cells are found in the meristems. Throughout the plant's entire life, cells in the meristem tissues can differentiate into any type of plant cell. These stem cells can be used to produce clones of whole plants quickly and cheaply. They can be used to grow more plants of rare species. Stem cells can also be used to grow crops of identical plants that have desired features for farmers, for example, disease resistance. If you haven't already, please subscribe, like and share.